why? Humanity has been asking this question of why since the beginning. Like in, why are chili peppers hot? Why do we collect money in piggy banks? Why is pizza round but the box is square? Why so many questions? Well, let's get to the bottom of this. Why are piggy banks pigs? In the Middle Ages, people used pots made with a type of clay called pig to keep coins. It was a pig bank. Since the word sounds like pig, potters started making these money jars in the shape of those curly-tailed animals. Thus, we got the piggy bank. Also in many countries, the pig symbolizes prosperity and wealth. Why is it a computer mouse? Yeah, the cord looks like a tail, making the whole thing clearly resemble a mouse. But here's something you might not know. Your palm-sized clicker could have been called a turtle instead. The first computer mice were so bulky, the large outer casing looked more like a turtle shell. Why are most erasers pink? Erasers were first made with rubber and pumice, the latter being the stuff that actually gets rid of pencil lead. The resulting color depended on the type of pumice used, which usually came in white or red. But when the Eberhard Faber Pencil Company started using pink Italian pumice for their erasers, the color became the most preferred among customers. Why do we decorate a tree for the holidays? Well, in ancient times, the evergreen, like pines and firs, was revered as a tree of power and immortality because it stays green all year. The luscious green color also encouraged people during dull gray winter days that spring would soon follow. To show appreciation and respect, we started putting decorations on them. Why do clocks run clockwise? Other than what, candle-wise? When people used sundials in ancient times, the shadow of the sun went from the left to the right in the northern hemisphere, and vice versa in the southern hemisphere. The first mechanical clocks were invented in the north, so they go what we now know as clockwise. If it had been in the south, the directions could have been switched today. Why is data called bytes? The word byte was created in the 50s, so it wouldn't be confused with the word bit. A bit is the binary information digit, like 0 or 1. A string of 8 bits makes one byte. So 8 kilobits equals 1 kilobyte. And so on for megabytes, gigabytes, and terabytes. I guess we can conclude that this story bites. Why are there two holes in a socket? Because electricity must flow through a circuit, or a kind of circle. The current flows from your breaker box to the hot hole on the right, passes through the appliance, say your hair dryer or lamp, and then comes back to the neutral left hole. Why do puddles of gasoline have rainbow colors? You'll mostly see this on a rainy day or wet roads, and it's because the oil gas is made from doesn't mix with the water. The oil sits on top, light passes through layers of different widths, and that creates varying colors in the spectrum. Same story with rainbowy bubbles. Why do jeans have that small pocket? Well, this pocket was originally for pocket watches that hung from chains on the waist. Everybody wears wristwatches now, but the pocket stuck around. Why does toothpaste have three stripes? Well, each color has a purpose. The white removes stains and whitens teeth. The blue refreshes your breath and gets rid of germs. And the red protects and strengthens gums. So they tell us. Why are disposable chopsticks connected at the top? It lets you know they haven't been used before. Oh, by the way, you're supposed to break that connected top off and lay your used chopsticks on it so they don't touch the table. Why does tea come in bags? In 1908, American tea merchant Thomas Sullivan decided to give his customers samples of his product in small silk bags. The idea was to pour the sample out of the bag and into your cup. But people immediately assumed the bag worked like the traditional metal infusers. So it was a happy accident. Why does plastic take so long to decompose? Paper and food waste decompose because bacteria feed on them, breaking them down into basic chemical compounds. 
but they completely bypass throwaway plastic because very few types of bacteria can feed on plastic. So it sits for 450 years versus your throwaway movie tickets that disappear within two weeks. Why do microwaves heat food unevenly? Well, it's because the microwaves inside don't reach the food evenly throughout. The waves can bounce off the dish and the walls of the oven, so there will always be blind spots they don't fall on. It's why the plate inside rotates. Why do canned goods last so long? Food spoils because of bacteria, and those can be airborne. Canned goods are sealed, so air and microbes can't get inside. That's all. Why do they give you a piece of fabric with new clothes? It's not for patching a hole. The fabric samples are like test subjects for the first washing. You can put this piece of cloth in the washer and see how much it fades, shrinks, or loses its shape. If everything's okay, you can safely machine wash your garment. Why do we wear a tie? In 17th century Europe, the tie was invented for a practical purpose – to tighten the collar and keep the wind from blowing down soldiers' necks. But King Louis XIII of France liked this item of clothing so much, he made it a must-have accessory for royal gatherings. Why are there holes in Swiss cheese? Mice? No. The common held belief is that they come from bacteria. These microbes produce gas that creates bubbles and then holes in the cheese when it hardens. But a more recent theory puts it down to microscopic bits of hay that fall in the milk. They weaken the curd structure and allow gas to form in the first place. Why are chili peppers hot? Woo! The thing that gives the pepper its mouth-burning kick is called capsaicin. Chilies produce it naturally to protect themselves from hungry animals and insects. As for why your eyes water and your nose runs when you eat spicy foods, it's because your body recognizes this irritant and produces more mucus to defend itself against it. Why do we have margins on paper? According to the popular theory, spaces were dedicated to both sides of the paper because of rodents. Back in the day, paper and books weren't stored in a nice clean office. They were down in basements and warehouses. People didn't write in this margin so that they wouldn't lose any information to rats chewing on the edges. Ew! The red lines marking the space came later to give you an idea of where to stop and start your writing. Why are keyboards in QWERTY? Initially, the keys on typewriters were in alphabetical order. But the machines broke down because typists learned to type too fast. Frequently used pairs of letters like TH or ST often got stuck. That's why the seemingly random QWERTY keyboard came about. The keys with the most common letters were put in hard-to-reach places to slow down typists and avoid breakage. Why are most coins round? Plenty of coins in ancient times were square, oval, diamond-shaped, or other forms that weren't perfectly round. But it turned out that round coins are easier to count and mint. Also, sharp edges on square coins were more susceptible to breaking. Why is pizza round, but the box is square? Pizza is round because it's easier to divide it into equal parts. Also, during cooking, the heat is distributed more evenly throughout a round pizza pie. And the box is square because it's cheaper to produce and store it that way. And pi r squared gives you the area of a circle in geometry. Why are party cups red? Well, first, the bright color means the cup can easily be found on a crowded table among snacks and other things. Secondly, the color encourages action on a psychological level. The red cup seems to be saying, drink me! Why are taxis yellow? Kind of like the red cup thing. It originally helped them stand out among a sea of black cars back in the day. It's also more visible both during the day and at night. Finally, here's my standard answer for when someone asks me why. Why not? <laughs> hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right. And remember, stay on the bright side of life.